We want customers to feel welcomed when they walk in. They, we want them to feel as though they're part of something and, and they're not there to be sold, but they're there to find their perfect RV. Well, here at Stones, we have six service bays, six full-time service technicians with over 100 years experience. Pretty proud of that. We have two road service trucks. Uh, we're able to uh, service in uh, all of Nova Scotia. We, we all want to slow down on certain times, so I think camping is definitely letting us slow down as a family, spend time with each other, not just be on your iPad or your, your phone. And um, Obviously, uh, there's a lot of people that want to take advantage of that. Hi everybody, we're live here for day two of the Stones RV Virtual Show. Yesterday was a huge success and thank you to all those who participated once again. Today we have much of the same coming your way, more service tips from Alan Sims and of course Dale will be by to talk to us about lots of the parts out there and accessories that are available to you. And we'll also have some nice parts giveaways as well today. So once again, I'll be taking you through some RVs and giving you a little snapshot of several RVs that uh, we're very excited about here. Um, but I do want to remind all the folks out there that we do have a lot of used and new inventory. We're just not able to get them into the, to the live event here. Uh, but just send us a message or go to stonesrv.com and get in touch with us and we'll make sure that you find exactly what you're looking for. Again, it doesn't matter what your budget is. We definitely have something for you. So again, we're very excited about today's event. Feel free to make some comments down below or ask some questions. Up next is our very professional business manager, Ashley Spaulding. Take it away, Ashley. Hi everyone, and welcome to day two. I'm Ashley Spaulding, finance manager here at Stones RV. Well, with 2021 right in our view, we have a great new lineup, and I hope you're enjoying everything you're seeing. We're literally counting down the days to camping season with fun in the sun and campfires. Well, you're part of our family here and your safety and assurance is my main priority. So with that being said, once you've decided on a new trailer, I'm here to make the process as easy as possible. With Skype, FaceTime and texting, we can do everything from the comforts of home. Easy peasy. We're here to sell you fun. Oh wait, and a couple of trailers too. I'm first generation Canadian and, and my family's immigrated here from England and Trinidad. So just like growing up in a very traditional household, it just didn't allow me to go into the woods as much. We had different cultures and traditions and it's a piece of me I think I've always wanted to see and explore and that I just haven't really gotten to. It's definitely something that's completely out of character for us. For There's us, no one yeah. that we know from our friend group that goes RVing. I guess you want me to change my mind about being outdoorsy and yes. camping, which I honestly hope <laughs> that that happen. happens. I'm never wrong. I'm pretty positive about it. Spontaneity. Everything in our lives right now is completely scheduled. Just an opportunity to chart our own course, to have all the decisions be ours. Sort of so. go where the wind may take us. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is like John's like first time in the water. It was absolutely amazing and <laughs> hilarious at the same time. <laughs> and we'll be for sure coming back and trying this again. Well, for those of you that haven't been here before, this is what we do. Reach in and you burn your right hand. <laughs> then you reach in and burn your left hand. <laughs> Dig in.
surprising thing. I I think it's probably the fact that I don't know what know what day it is. Today. <laughs> uh, it's Sunday, dear. Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> What I learned is I can definitely handle the outdoors. I have the best of both worlds. I can straighten my hair and be camping roasting marshmallows. I would say for me, um, there was this moment by the campfire and there was this big group of people and some were family and some were just, you know, random people that were in their RVs or camping and community and kindness of people. To be a part of that was, I don't know, man, that, that touched me and I feel like that's the kind of thing I want to share with my family. I feel like we took our relationship to another level as well. Like I got to know you a little bit more, you know, we were out of our element. Just knowing that this is possible for us and that yeah. this is something that we should incorporate into our lifestyles. And we're gonna do it again, obviously. We need this, we're gonna continue. It's important. I think I just got to be more myself and I got to learn that I don't have to, I don't have to limit myself. When you're out in the wilderness and you're doing this whole RVing thing, you just get to let go. And welcome back, folks. To start things off today, we have the 2021 Hido 28 RKS. That's right, folks, another rear kitchen unit. So this ever-popular unit is a luxury unit by Hideout. It has the two-piece aluminum front cap on it. Also, this unit is prepped for lane changers and also a reverse camera as well. We do bring the 28 in power jacks all the way around the unit. This unit comes with the solid step, which obviously is extremely popular. One of the big features again with the rear kitchen is the oversized window, which gives you just a beautiful view in the living area. To the back of the coach, we also have the outside kitchen. So we have a nice cooktop there, outside refrigerator to keep the beverages nice and chilled. We do have the large size awning with LED lights and of course, outside speakers. So folks, come on inside. We're gonna start this off, show you the bathroom, and then we're gonna go into the bedroom. One of the main features, again, with Hideout, they do such a great job, is they really make a nice residential bathroom. You hear a lot about that today from inner units. It's just a really good size shower there, and vanity, mirror, porcelain toilet in there. Again, it's a private separate bathroom. It's away from the living area and is not connected to the bedroom. So customers really enjoy that. Very popular couples unit. Again, it has a very spacious queen size bed in the front, laundry chute, very comfortable. And then in the corner, we also have a nice wardrobe closet there. So again, the couples units that are the most popular today are starting to show the rear kitchens, the mid-living units. One of the big reasons is giving you a really nice floor plan, a nice spacious area. You have a tri-fold couch there, which, uh, you know, if you prefer to have some guests stay, there's lots of space here. It does have the booth dinette with a removable table as well. Tons of storage around and also has the 50 inch TV with fireplace and of course the double recliners. And then in the back of the unit we have the nice rear kitchen unit with tons of counter space. We have a big stainless steel firm sink, faucet, tons of drawers. We have the 12 volt electric refrigerator. So folks you have to come into these units to really appreciate just how they'll fit for you and your family. Um, give us a call, book an appointment, come on in, have a look. This weekend, this unit has been reduced from 46.9 to 41.9. That's this unit right here, 41.9, folks. So 
send us a message and we'll make sure that you get in here and have a look. Up next, Alan Sims is going to give us a tip, some, some tips for service. Thanks, Sean. I'm Alan Sims, service manager here at Stones RV. Following up on uh, our eight quick tips yesterday for maintenance of an RV, some essential tools, approximately 20 tools that I recommend every RVer to have in a tote. So you can get totes inexpensive from big box stores. This is a real live kit that we have uh, with us today. Uh, and I've unpacked these essential items. Um, certainly you can't carry all your tools with you. So we're gonna start with some of the basics. One of the things that I highly recommend to start off every tool kit and it fits in a drawer, if you don't have all the tools, is a multi bit screwdriver. Good for a lot of things. Things can and will shake loose in your trailer. So a multi-use. Uh, a small socket set, a ASE or metric, uh, half inch to a quarter inch driver would be good. I've got a half inch there, uh, as well as a flashlight. Uh, things do go wrong at night. It's good to have that. Check the batteries, uh, beginning of the season, end of the season. So those are three sm small items I would start with. Uh, the next item that I would add is a caulking gun. Uh, you know, things happen when you're on the road, you'll get a brush with a tree, uh, anything uh, could hit the top of the roof and you could always add some lap sealant or silicone to protect your trailer until you can get it into the shop. Uh, another item that everybody will probably have for those campfire days uh, is a small ax. Uh, I also use this one as a hammer as well. Uh, so I'm not recommending a hammer, but if you have an extra one, put it in the kit, but the ax will double there for you. Now yesterday I talked to you on my eight quick tips about checking the tire pressure in your RV uh, and as well as your tow vehicle. I highly recommend having a tire pressure gauge and a small compressor. Uh, they're not going to take up a whole lot of room and they're going to be invaluable when you need them. Uh, and have those on hand uh, you know, before uh, you head out and as well when, before you depart your campground. Yesterday I talked about lug nuts and lug nut safety. Uh, this is a torque wrench. Certainly this is an advanced torque wrench. Uh, you get them at the big box stores for, you know, when they're on sale, $59 to $69.99, but easily well under $100 to have. And uh, that would be in my top 10 of uh, tools to have on hand. Um, of course, a utility knife. This one here has uh, been around for a few years. Uh, I recommend a set of channel locks. It can be used for just about anything. Uh, I have a pair of crimpers. Uh, all your plumbing today is uh, PEX fittings uh, inside your trailer. They can and will work loose, especially there behind the toilets where you're going to notice it. Uh, it's good to have a crimper on just to tighten those crimps up uh, temporarily. Um, and as well, a pair of wire strippers. Uh, good to have on hand. They don't have to be uh, fancy. Uh, just, you know, this is an old set. Carry them with you. A pair of vice grips are uh, always good to have. Uh, again, a multi-tool. Uh, a nail puller, just a small one. Uh, you get trim or anything that comes loose. Uh, you can tack it back or pull the nails out. And a pair of basic needle nose pliers. Uh, so those would be the key items. As you get more advanced uh, into developing your, your tools, uh, an infrared uh, temperature gun, uh, they've, become, they've come down in price. Again, big box there. They don't have to be a, you know, a brand name, inexpensive. Uh, a multimeter, this is a digital multimeter uh, for us to check AC and DC current. Good to have. You don't have to have one this advanced, but have one on hand in your toolbox is certainly helpful. Uh, as well, uh, a multi-use oscillating tool. This one here is corded. They've come down in price as well. And uh, there's cordless out there, but uh, I have a corded one. And uh, impact guns. Now, if you don't have a drill, I would recommend the impact gun. The impact gun is used for uh, putting in and out slides manually. It's going to save you a lot of elbow grease, especially if you get the connector and you have manual jacks. Uh, stabilizer jacks, you'll be able to you put those up and down with an impact gun without breaking your wrist or elbow. As well, if your tongue jack, if you have an electric tongue jack and it fails, uh, you'll be able to use your impact gun for that as well. So, and a lot of different uses. So those are the basic tools from uh, basics all the way up to the more advanced with the multimeter and the oscillating tools and the impact guns that I would have on hand. But I would always have a pair of rubber gloves in my kit, if not more than one pair. Uh, the boxes are inexpensive. And I have those there because, as we'll talk about later, everybody's fun, the gray and black water tanks. Now, some basic products just to have on hand, and you'll see that I have lap sealant in my caulking gun, 
Uh, as I talked about yesterday in the eight quick tips, make sure that you know what your roof type is and have some lap seal on hand. Also, carry some cleaner and conditioner for your uh, slide out seals and as well, uh, some cleaner for your uh, awnings and some uh, battery terminal protector. Well, that wraps up my quick tips. I'll be back later on today with everybody's favorite, black and gray tanks. Have a great day and enjoy the show. We're back folks and we're very excited here to launch our first Cougar 316. That's right folks, brand new floor plan by Cougar, the 2021 316 RLS. Unbelievable floor plan. And I will warn you, if you have a current fifth wheel or travel trailer, you're gonna wanna trade in for this. And yes, we do take trades. Up front, we have an automotive paint job on this unit. Just a beautiful sleek design on this. This unit is pre-wired for lane changers and reverse camera as well. Has magnetic doors. The pass-through is heated and very large. Just tons of space in there, folks. Of course, it has the large set of solid steps. It's a double awning unit again, folks, with big oversized windows for view. LED lights. This unit is solar prepped and ready for the OTG package, which is the off the grid package. So just comment below and we can get your pricing on that as well. So let's go on in and have a look at your new fifth wheel. I'm gonna start you off in the bathroom of this unit because Cougar really hit a home run when they were designing this unit. A lot of people are asking, for bigger bathrooms, but Cougar listened. Here's the double sink unit, large mirror, and they put a full size residential shower in the unit with a seat and porcelain toilet. So again, a lot of people asking for that. Here it is, folks. Going into the master suite, we have a king size bed. We have plug outlets on both sides. And again, they use every inch of that front cap. And this is prepped for washer and dryer. And the bedroom also has its own air conditioning. And as you come down to the hallway, folks, you'll see that this is also an in-command system. So again, the app is available and you can use your cell phone. And as you walk into the main living area, you're blown away, not by me but by this beautiful floor plant and of course the beautiful decor. They hit a home run with this unit, folks. The solid countertops, the, the, just the grays and the whites, it all flows so nice together. The crown moldings, the beams, it's incredible. You have a four chair dinette, roller shades, on the, again, the oversized windows, which gives you that big view, double recliner, theater seating. You have a tri-fold sofa once again, so lots of space if, if you do have guests. Lots of storage. And, and as you're going through this video, again, you can see just how the decor just pops everything nicely. It has a 50-inch TV, also a fireplace. 
Again, you notice I'm hanging out behind this island. It's just great spot to cook, great spot to entertain. But I also have all the drawers here, tons of storage there, here, more counter space, extra plugs here, and they're very easy to use. You just pop them down and they go flush into the counter top. Uh, it's so residential like. Way to go, Cougar. You hit a home run. Back here, spot for your coffee maker. Big full-size pantry, again. And of course, it has the four-door refrigerator, propane and electric. Folks, this new unit retails for $80,000. This weekend, this unit, $76,900. Give us a call, send us a text, shoot us a message on the, on the comments below. We'll get back to you and get you into this unit. I know that there's a lot of our customers out there right now that are currently gonna wanna get in, have a look at this unit, um, and let's, let's make it yours today. So guys, really excited about the 316. Again, Keystone Cougar has hit a home run with it and we're proud to have it at Stone's RV. Up next, Dale's gonna take us through a nice demo in parts. Take it away, Dale. Thanks, Sean. Okay, viewers, we have another great deal here for you. We have the Rhino Sewer Hose Package. More and more campers are becoming familiar with Camco's Rhino Flex Sewer Hose Kits. They're available in two sizes, a 15-foot kit and a convenient two-piece 20-foot kit. Both come with pre-attached swivel fittings so that your hose stays secured. They're ready to use right out of the box and they're made with the toughest hose you can buy. That's why they're labeled the world's toughest sewer hose. Here's our show special. We're offering 10% off both the 15 or the 20 foot kit. Plus, we're gonna throw in a 32 ounce bottle of TST liquid holding tank treatment, a 50 pack of disposable RV sanitation gloves and a four pack of RV marine toilet tissue. That's a $30 value, folks. Text us now, take advantage of our sales. Waiting to hear from you. Welcome back campers, time for another prize draw. This time we have an 18 watt solar 12 volt battery charging kit. It's weatherproof, shatterproof, maintenance free, comes with a 7 amp charge controller so you don't overcharge your batteries. A lot of the newer units coming today come from the factory pre-prepped for a direct plug-in solar application. Here's yours. And the winner is... Congratulations to our winner. We'll be in touch with you shortly to arrange uh, your prize pickup. So now, Sean has a nice premiere from Keystone that he's going to show you. Take it away, Sean. Thanks, Dale, and congratulations again to the winners. Folks, here's the Premier 2021-23 RB by request. This is a luxury couples unit, and it's that unit that you're looking for that's just around the 5400 mark dry that gives you everything you want and more. A lot of people out there just like to have something around that mark, 
for towability, maybe they're gonna travel longer and they just want that size. So here it is folks, one piece front cap on this luxury unit, which is absolutely gorgeous. Has a large pass-through door once again, so big enough to get those lawn chairs in there. Slam door with magnet with magnets on it as well. Awning, LED lights. Again, it's got the solid steps and the beautiful outside kitchen in the back, which is nice. Tons of space in there. All Keystone's units are pre-wired for key TV. So the gist of that is they made it really simple and divided between your satellite and your TV. So it, it's all there, folks. Even have it on the outside. So beautiful unit, beautiful couples coach. This unit comes with a 30K BTU furnace as well. So you can camp earlier, camp longer. Let's go check it out, folks. You have a closet right at the entryway when you come in. A lot of people always look for that. And we're gonna go right into the bathroom, folks. Check out the large rear bathroom. Residential shower, lots of storage in there. It's really good, it's right at the door too, so you can come in and out of your coach. Just a beautiful color scheme in here again, nice and bright. Again, you have the grays, the whites, everything's blending. Big kitchen, lots of cabinets. There's even an extension there for the countertop. Stainless steel sink. Nice little entertainment system. This unit has the booth in it, which is nice. You can put it down to a bed, or if it's raining outside, you can nestle up and watch a movie. Full-size refrigerator. Again, you just notice how bright it is in here. We're going into the master suite, folks. Look at the storage in there, even the little corners in there. There's USB ports and plugs on each side. They've just decorated this unit up so nice. Again, somebody can be in that bedroom sleeping. Somebody can be out here watching TV. It's really nice. Again, we're at 23 feet in this box. So, folks, I know you really like this unit. And we do have many more like this here. Um, so you need to come down, check it out. This weekend, this unit from 46.9 is now 41.9. This unit right here. We'd love the opportunity to get you in here. Send us a message, have a comment below there. We'll get right back to get you in here. Up next, we're gonna learn a little bit about RV care. So, hey everyone, uh, my name is Derek Patterson and I'm with RV care. And first of all, thank you, Sean, for that great introduction. So what is RV Care? Well, RV Care is a network of RV dealerships with a basic philosophy. And the philosophy is to assist traveling RVers. Um, and Stones RV has been with our group for a very, very long time. In fact, they were a founding member. So the concept of, of uh, servicing a customer as they head out on their travels with their family um, it was an important deal, right? Obviously, you don't want to be stuck somewhere without having a, a dealer or someone local that can help you out. And how you do that is you take your smartphone and you download the RV Care app, Google Store and or the App Store, uh, free, obviously. And that will give you a listing of the 81 dealers that we have across the country. So if you're out there on your travels and something should happen, God forbid, then you can just scroll down to the province that you're in and then by dealer, find the closest location and it'll GPS you right in, call them, make an appointment. And their promise, being part of the network, is to move you to the front of the line so they can get you up and on your way. That's a pretty powerful benefit to you, wouldn't you agree? Equally, we have a couple, two pretty good partnerships that are equally out there to help you. One is called KOA. Everybody's familiar with KOA Campgrounds, uh, Campgrounds of America. And in Canada, they have a smaller footprint than they do in the U.S., but both the U.S. and the Canadian KOA Campgrounds will give you 10% discount when you um, uh, book a night stay, up to 28 nights at any of the KOA Campgrounds across North America. 10% 
pretty good. It adds up, right? And the second partnership is called Route 66. And Route 66 are like-minded RV dealers in the U.S., over 125 dealers that will equally take care of you, just like our Canadian dealers will take care of you. Should you require an urgent repair, you'll be able to go to uh, the, wherever you're located. There's going to be probably a Route 66 dealer, and they'll get you in and up on your way so you can get out and enjoy the rest of uh, your vacation time. Parallel to that, we have buying power, which allows us to buy collectively as a group. And the objective there is to pass some savings along to you because we all need parts and accessories as we uh, open up our units and close our units at the end of the year and sometimes in, in between as well. And we have a great line of proprietary products called RV Traveler's Choice that obviously the warranty is a Canadian warranty across all our dealers. We all carry the products. And um, I think if you put your name on a product that says that you trust the product and you trust the quality and hopefully uh, you see the same thing if you take advantage of RV Traveler's Choice products, which are available at Stones as well. There is so many more benefits, but I don't have the time to go through it all. But our friends here at Stones, they definitely can take the time to go through all the benefits of RV care. The best thing is it's really, it's a free service when you buy your new RV and or used RV from our uh, network of dealers. All right, so if you have questions, please reach out to anybody here at the Stones uh, RV location. Uh, the team, Jonathan and his team will be there to take care of you. And, um, and equally, if you'd like to send an email to myself and or my team, you can do that as well, info at rvcare.ca, and uh, we'll answer all your questions, right? I uh, hope you enjoy this event, and more importantly, I hope you're all anxious for the upcoming camping season that is rapidly, rapidly, hopefully, uh, rapidly uh, coming, all right? So be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Why do grown-ups have to lose their wildhood? Staring at their phones instead of at the stars? Running on a treadmill instead of running free? Making appointments, not memories. I thought growing up meant making my own rules. I thought it meant being a kid and getting away with it. I want to crawl, hike, and jump. I want to wipe my hands on my pants. I want to wake up with the sunrise, not my alarm. I want to use my outdoor voice. That's the kind of grown-up I want to be. Let's bring back wildhood. Welcome back, folks. Behind me is the 2021 Bullet 290 BHS by request. We had lots of people message us yesterday wondering if we were going to get this one on. We made a few adjustments and here it is. Beautiful unit, three quarter front cap lit with LED lights on the front. Tons of storage in that large oversized door. Again, you can get lawn chairs in there. This has power jacks all the way around the unit has the solid step, power awning with LED lights, get your outdoor speakers. Again, very popular unit. It does have the outside kitchen as well. Doesn't take too much space up, has the cooktop and the refrigerator. It's nice to have the outside. Big feature to it has the second door to the bathroom in the back, which is nice. It keeps the kids in and gets them out. And if you have guests, they're not going in through your trailer. They're just going into the washroom and they're coming out. Beautiful unit. Has a 30,000 BTU furnace. Again, I can't say it enough. It's, it's important to get camping early and definitely later in the season now. I'm excited to take you into the 2021 290 BHS, folks. Come on in. You'll notice coming in the door, there's a closet straight ahead, which is really nice. And a massive entrance into the master suite there. It has two doors that shut as well for privacy. 
tons of storage in there. It's just a beautiful view in there. Again, it really opens up the trailer by having that large opening there. Very bright trailer as you're spanning around. You can see that the colors just pop. Those lights, those grays, they just, it, it just all mixes together really nice. Big kitchen, stainless steel sink, tons of power outlets there. Large fridge. And again, lots of storage. Back here we have the double on double bunk. Big feature in the 290, why people really like it, especially when they're upgrading, is that both bunks have two windows and they all four of the windows open. And you can lift this up as well and you can take some extra storage space here if you wanted to take some extra stuff with you. And both bunks have storage in the corner with USB ports and plugs as well. Nice ladder here for safety. And again, you do have a curtain that you can pull around for privacy as well. So all in all, very nice coach. Um, very spacious and again it has Thomas Paine uh, residential couch and it's a tri-fold couch so if you do take one of the kids Fred's friends with you or need extra sleeping spot that serves as a nice double bed and also the booth goes down as well into a bed so tons and tons of storage tons of sleeping spots and again lots of windows it's nice and bright in this trailer um, we're very, very happy to have it here today uh, by request. And 46.9 is the price of this trailer. This weekend, this trailer, we're going to do 42.9. 42.9, folks. Give us a call. Send us a message. Let's see if we can get you into this, get you into an appointment as soon as possible. Next up, we're going to have Dale. Take it away, Dale. Thanks, Sean. So, folks. We're back with a really good deal this time. It's one you all really should take advantage of, and that is a surge protector. Re, uh, depending on your application, they're available in 30 amp or 50 amp application. They protect your RV from faulty park power. They provide surge and ground fault protection. Today's RVs with their high-tech electronics can become severely damaged from inconsistent power at RV campsites. Protect yourself and your investment by using a surge guard electrical protection device. Here's our show special. Right now we're offering 20% off any in stock or any special order uh, electrical protection device. Text us now, we'll take your orders. If we don't have it in stock, we'll get it on the way for you. 20% off. Don't miss out, folks. Welcome back viewers, time for another prize draw. Most new vehicles today, cars and trucks, come factory equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. Why not have one on your RV? Here's our prize draw. It's a dandy tire pressure monitoring system, constantly monitors your vehicle's tire pressure and temperature. Easy setup. Be aware of a low tire on your trailer before a blowout. A $460 value, folks. And the winner is...
Hi guys, Ken Conley here, Keystone Hideout, District Sales Manager of the Northeast. We're here today to talk to you about the all-new 250BH. This floor plan has a couple unique features that we're really excited to get out into the market. Exterior-wise, you got a camp kitchen. It is a double over double floor plan that you're used to seeing, but we got a couple twists that we're really excited about. Let's take a look inside. Hey guys, welcome inside the 250BH. At the rear of this coach, you're gonna see your double over double bunks sleeping for the four children. As you walk around here, you're gonna move your way into the bathroom. All hideouts come standard with a medicine cabinet, walk-in shower, and a porcelain foot flush toilet. Now we're gonna make our way over to the first exciting feature on this 250BH, and that is gonna be the versatile jackknife system that we have introduced here. We actually worked exclusively with Lippert on this product, and this is going to not only be a 72-inch jackknife sofa that can sleep full-size adults, but it's gonna double as seating for six as well. So if you pull this out here, nice and easy, you got your storage here, that is gonna be hinged. There are straps here to keep your stuff in secure and transit. And also, take a seat here, seating for six, for dinner, card night, family fun. Here we're excited to introduce that we are now using the 10 cube 12 volt reefers. It has a nice residential look. It rounds out well with the rest of the features in the hideout. As you move over here into the kitchen, you'll see it matches stainless steel faucets, got the nice double basin sink. Uh, one thing I'm really excited to have on the hideout is these glass inserts. I think they really add some dimension and a little bit of contrast to the hideout. We're really excited about that. One thing we always got to touch on when we're talking about our hideout is the central vac system. You're not going to see central vac systems in too many things in this price point, so we're really, really happy to have that. And then we're gonna to get to the exciting part of this floor plan. This is something that as you're walking around, you're looking at the massive amount of countertop space. You've got your overhead storage. You've got your drawers here. Where do the pots and pans go? Let me show you. Pull this out here. Pots and pan storage underneath. You got a drawer over top. You can put your board games, anything else that you like to store in here. That closes nice and tight. And then you've got your 32 inch fireplace here on the exterior as well. Hey guys, welcome to the bedroom. In every hideout, you're gonna have two wardrobes each side of the bed, hanging space for you. One of the things I love about the hideout, it's always hard to find somewhere to put that hamper. There's not a ton of space over here. Throw your hamper in, the pass through storage, drop your dirty laundry right down there, close that out, no stinky socks, everything's good. And then of course, in every camper, where do you sleep? Nice big queen bed for you. Thanks for checking out the all new 250BH. For more information, check us out on the web at keystonerv.com. Hey, thanks, Ken. It's always great to hear what's new at Hideout. And uh, again, it's Alan Sims, Stone Service Manager here. And uh, today, as I promised, we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite, uh, gray and black water tanks uh, and the maintenance that's uh, required with the uh, black and gray water tank. So as many of you will know, the gray water tank is the tank that's supplied from uh, the wastewater from your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink, and your shower. Uh, it's good to flush that system at least to begin the season, end of the season. Uh, the thing that I would try to reduce is organic material going down the drain, uh, food particle, waste, things of that nature that you, that you flush because it it can be uh, a little bit detrimental to smells in the RV, so we want to keep that system clean. Now, a lot of times folks will ask me, Alan, is it best when I'm parked at the campground to either leave it open or closed? Now, my recommendation and what I do for myself is I leave it closed. I don't want any other contaminants or anything else coming back up from the sewer system into uh, my RV. So I say leave it closed. The other benefit to that is when I do go to flush my black water tank, I can always pull my gray at when it's done, close the black and open my uh, gray, and that'll flush my sewer line outs for uh, transport home. So that's just one of my tips on the gray. Now, how do you tell the difference between the two? Now, obviously some RVs are gonna have them labeled, gray tank or black tank here on the exterior. And as well, one of the ways that I always, you can tell is uh, your gray tank is plumb with an inch and a half line and your black tank is plumbed with a three inch line. The only thing that supplies your black tank is your toilet. The toilet sits above the tank on the deepest end and it flows through the shallow end to where your drain's at. Now, one of the things that I recommend, this is mine, there's other chemicals out there. This just happens to be the chemical that I prefer when I go camping and it's AquaChem. So, 
properly diluted, pour it into the toilet bowl of your RV and uh, let it do, do the job. Now a lot of times folks will tell me I'm getting smells coming from my tank. Now if you empty your tank into a tote or I guess you call it like a honey cart or if you're seasonal and the campground comes around and picks up the waste and they don't really use a suction to take that out, uh, it's best to flush this tank, the black tank, at least twice a year. And that's going to get any residual buildup on the sides that cling to the sides or the bottom of the tank and get that out of there and that's going to reduce the smell. Uh, yes, the enzymes and things like AquaChem will help reduce that, but it's best to make sure it's flushed and maintained. Now, if you're ever working with your black and gray tanks, I highly recommend having uh, some latex gloves on hand. Well, that's going to conclude my portion of uh, the show this year. Uh, from the service team, I'm Alan Sims, and if you ever need to reach out to us, Tim Burns, Jolene McLeod on our team will be glad to help you with any question you may have about your RV. See you soon. Welcome back everyone. Behind me is the 2021 Retreat MKTS. This front living unit is absolutely spacious and offers the most scenic views of any park model. So walk into the back end of this, let me show you just this new exciting color scheme by Retreat. We're going to have a quick look here of the master bedroom in the MKTS to start. Um, Tons of storage in this unit, full-size closet. It is washer and dryer prepped. And of course, above the bed, there's tons of storage as well. It's a king-size bed and obviously tons of storage underneath it as well. Coming off of the master bedroom is a beautiful ensuite bathroom. It's got a residential shower. Nice and bright in there, again. And tons of storage in the bathroom as well, which is, you know, it's very handy to have. And then there's this. Absolutely beautifully done by Retreat. The decor in this unit pops, it's bright, it's fresh. Everything is just residential. Your, your dinette has an extension on the end of it. You have double recliners. Very modern residential furniture. 
Again, those colors, it's, you feel like you're in a home. Fireplace, 50 inch TV, such an entertaining area. Ceiling fan. And as the camera comes around and you'll notice there's so much storage. It's so much counter space. The beautiful, bright, solid countertops in the retreat. Again, I keep using the word modern. Oven, residential fridge, and then back at the end of the unit where, I mean, you can put so much here. It just makes it so versatile that your toaster, your coffee makers, they're all owed all the time. Folks, this unit retails for $69.9. This weekend, this unit, it can be yours for $62.9, delivery and setup included. That's right, folks, $62.9, and it can be yours. And as we were talking about what an incredible job they've done over at Retreat with the decor and just the whole new look of the Retreat, by popular demand, the video that we had on yesterday with the girls talking about their incredible job over there with decors at Keystone is up next. Hey guys, my name is Courtney, but you might know me as the Flipping Nomad. Today I am at Keystone RV Company's headquarters in what I would call the coolest room of the entire building. This is their design studio, and this is where all of the interiors of the RVs that we love come to life. And they have opened their doors for us today to give us a sneak peek into how these RVs are designed and what goes into them. So why don't you come with me and we're gonna meet the designers. Hey, Wayne. Good to see you again. Thank you for having us. This is Amy and Marla, and these two women are the designers behind all of these uh, beautiful Keystone RVs. And there's so much that goes into some of these interiors. But why don't you tell us some, like, how you guys draw inspiration, and where is your where is your launching point for designing these interiors? We go to the Kitchen and Bath show every year. It shows all the um, trends that are coming up. Um, we're constantly taking pictures and referring back to that at a later date because um, we're really there's not much of a gap between what we do now and what we see at the show so it's a great place for inspiration and um, yeah and a lot of our larger suppliers will uh, host seminars on design trends um, right now they're doing a lot of webinars and we do uh, virtual meetings we get inspiration from social media like everybody else it's like you're looking at Pinterest Instagram um, we follow the stuff that you're doing. We're seeing what is new out there. We're constantly um, researching when we're at work, um, when we can, and trying different websites and just checking everything out to see where the trends are headed, where we're at compared to the trends. And the old fashioned way of just, I love flipping through the latest uh, issues of modern farmhouse and house beautiful, and I could go on and on, but, um, we also hear your voices, uh, our product managers bring back information from what retail customers are asking for. It's really cool to hear that you guys are getting inspiration from the same sources that I'm getting my inspiration from. You know, I'm, I'm working with pre-loved rigs that have older, dated interiors and bringing them up to, to current day styles. Um, whereas, you know, we're looking at the same places for what are the, the current styles. And is that kind of what we're seeing here? Tell, tell me about this awesome palette that I'm seeing on this table. Well, yeah. this is 2021. One. This is um, some of the wood grains that we have chosen this year. As you can see, it's kind of a variety. It's kind yeah. of a mid-tone to light. Um, we're seeing a little more of the painted finishes, painted with glazed finishes, um, the lighter countertops as well. Uh, and I hardware. Love, love the mixture of hardware too. Yes. Different styles, got, finishes. We've got some black and this one we're um, trying to get that brushed kind of champagne gold color in too as well. It's beautiful so. and you know of course one of our signature styles is white cabinets and, and usually white walls too um, and so that of course this one here drew my eye completely because this looks like a, a cabinet door that that we would do on the aftermarket but you guys are able to implement this straight from the factory now which I think is a really cool piece showing you know how merged our 
our yeah. interiors are becoming. Yeah. 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 The gap is closing on that. It um, really is. Yeah. yeah it you is. just get to do it on a much larger scale. Yeah. <laughs> larger only, scale, yeah. but we have a few challenges. Yeah. 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 We do have challenges, and production's one, and they're becoming more innovative to where we can use white. Where in the past that was, you know, it wasn't possible it wasn't even a possible. few years ago. Yes. Which is a great point to how the technology um, of just the industry in general has kind of caught up to speed, which allows you to do a lot. Right. A, a lot yeah. more freedoms within interiors that you just didn't have in, in years prior. Yep. Yeah, because a lot of our design um, is driven on basically price of production. That's a huge part of, of it because we can go in um, Restoration Hardware and go, oh, I want that interior. But we have to kind of translate it to what will work and be functional and price conscious in the RV world. So there's a lot of challenges there, which is kind of fun. Yes. yes. You know, it's uh, interesting. Yeah, because you don't want to, you know, build this most beautiful interior, you know, a little bit like we did with the Ultimate Montana, but price somebody right out of it because right. the interior is so expensive. Production. Exactly. Yeah. Each, you yeah. know, trying to get those out the door, you know, with all of the components in it. Um, yeah, because so, there, there's a lot of other pieces that, you know, I've learned as a consumer. I've been an RV owner for six years that I just didn't realize that went into building these RVs, but you know, yeah. Keystone has been so gracious to opening the doors, you know, to me and my team to see what goes into building them. It's been such an eye opener for me. What would be your your favorite part of of this process? Is it seeing the finished unit? Is it like reimagining the unit? It's really just putting it all together, yeah. and then uh, that's the fun part. Um, and then. The next milestone is getting production on board, and then the next milestone is seeing it all put together. Yeah, um, yeah. there's a lot of steps. Yeah. It's a long process. Yeah. Um, we enjoy working with the product managers. We enjoy getting their feedback. Um, so it's it's quite a quite a thing to do from start to finish, and it takes quite a while. But and every product is completely different on how they build and rules and codes and what they can and can't do. So. That's a good point. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Very so true. you kind of have to adjust yeah. accordingly. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you ladies taking the time out of your very oh, busy welcome. schedule to sit down with me as a consumer. And I know it's all the other consumers online are really noticing the changes, even okay. the last couple years, especially 2021. Uh, with all, I, I love seeing all the grays and the, and the lighter tones here. You know, it's much different than the RVs of 10 years ago, you know, right. the the style that we work with on our pre-loved rig. So it's, it's really yeah. exciting to see. And thank you so much for taking the time oh, to show us. Yeah, thank you. It's good seeing you again. It's so good to see you girls too. Hey everybody. I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for participating in our two day online RV show. It was a huge success and we look forward to hearing from you all soon. Just a reminder that to reach us, you can call us, leave a voicemail if you don't get to us, we'll get right back to you. Send us a text or visit us at stonesrv.com. Thank you all very much and we look forward to seeing you soon here at Stones RV.